I'm here in Girardville at the Jack Kehoe Hibernian House, and I'm with the great grandson of Jack Kehoe, Joe Wayne, who is also the president of the Ancient Order of Hibernians. Joe, this place is amazing. Your bar is beautiful, and there's an important piece right behind you, this door that many people may not realize what it is. This is the original cell door from my great grandfather's prison cell in Schuylkill County, Pottsville, Schuylkill County. I was able to get it when they were going to demolish the old prison and build a new one, and they were going to bury all this stuff. So I have the original shackles here from from his cell, and I have the original door, the chains, and so forth, and the key to the cell, and some other artifacts. And Jack Kehoe, for somebody who doesn't know, he was one of 20 men who were hung. That's correct. They, they, uh, they were hanged in Schuylkill County, uh, Jim Thorpe, and in Columbia County. And why was this done? Well, they were basically accused of uh, starting to labor, not accused of, they were basically fighting for better working conditions, and they, uh, they went on strike in 1875, which really precipitated a lot of the problems and investigations to try to break them, break the uh, um, fledging union, union up. Uh, they were members of the ancient of Hibernians. Uh, they were all standing men in their communities, uh, and many of them were tax collectors. They were official office holders in the community. My great-grandfather was a constable in Girardville, and uh, he was a, a county delegate of the Ancient of Hibernians to the state. Ancient of Hibernians, a legal uh, uh, charitable organization, uh, licensed and chartered in the United States. Uh, but they were perceived as being members of the Molly Maguires uh, by Benjamin Bannum and the coal companies to uh, put terror into the hearts of people here. And uh, a lot of unspeakable crimes were committed, uh, and they were blamed for it. Uh, many of the crimes that we know today were attributed to the Pinkerton detectives and some of the men they hired. The Pinkerton detectives back then were not the honorable group uh, detective agency like they are today. They had a strong history of uh, using men for violence from strike breakers and scabs and they'd hire men right out of prison, give them a dollar and they'll do whatever they want them to do. So. And you cleared your, gra your great grandfather's name I did. I, I appeared before the Board of Pardons, and uh, I was hoping we'd have it done in the 100th anniversary of his execution. Mm -hmm. Governor Schapp signed an official pardon on recommendation of the Board of Pardons. He signed it in January of 1979. Now, this place is instrumental to the parade that will be taking place on March 30th, because you are actually the gentleman who started this parade. So tell us about it. Well, I, I was one of several here, uh, along with my friend Mooch McNeil, John McNeil is out of Monte City. He ran a lot of parades, and we were talking about how we could put a better parade on, uh, much more interesting, especially with our history. And uh, all the members of the ancient Fibernians, uh, they jumped on board. And uh, we didn't even have a formal board at the time or membership. Uh, just, just took it upon themselves. We asked them to do something, and they all pitched in, and we did it. And now we have a, a regular uh, parade committee. Well, this is going to be a great parade, and it will be taking place, uh, kicking off, stepping off, I guess, as they say, yep. at noon on March 30th. That's a Saturday. So you want to invite everybody to come to Girardville that day, and if you're not Irish, you are on that day, uh, correct? That, that's that's the saying goes, but what we say that there aren't any strangers here, only friends that haven't met. That's right. So Absolutely. That, that, that's our basic theme of the parade. Now, we want everybody to know on the day we taped this, you were doing some remodeling and getting ready for everything. It will look spectacular when everybody comes in for the big parade day. So uh, we just wanted to put that out there in case yeah. things looked a little messy around yeah, here today uh, because you're doing remodeling. Yeah, what we're, we're doing, we're putting in lights that we got from Ireland and uh, donated by, by people who uh, were going to use in an establishment of their own, but things fell through. They gracefully donated to, to us that are going to be throughout the building, but we're putting in a tin ceiling. We have Dennis Lehman is doing the work here now, and Bill Shelby doing the electrical work, and my nephew John doing the plumbing work. Uh, all of it is going all at once, so it looks like it's a madhouse, but uh, it's coming together, and eventually we will prevail. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you will. It will be beautiful. There will be thousands of people here on that day, and we sure hope that you are one of them.